equalize in WavePad. The Equalize tool is located on the Levels tab and through the right-click menu. Click the Equalize button or right-click the waveform and in the menu select Effects, Equalizer to open the Equalizer dialog. From here, you can quickly select a preset or choose to set your own by using the visual, graphic, or parametric equalizers. For more details on using the equalizer, continue listening. Open the file that you would like to apply the equalizer to. Then, click the Equalize button on the Levels tab. Presets include Band Pass, Band Stop or Cut, High Pass, Low Pass, Notch, Boost, High Pass Shelf, and Low Pass Shelf. Selecting presets allows you to easily configure common filters such as Low Pass or High Pass. For a full description of each of these presets, click the Help icon or button, then scroll down the Help page that opens to read more about each preset filter. When you select a preset, the Presets Options dialog will open. Here, you can manipulate the filter to achieve the effect you desire. Click Update Graph to see the impact of your changes on the equalizer before clicking OK to apply the changes. Click Reset Default if you would like to start over. Once you're happy with the equalizer parameters, click OK. You can reopen the Presets Options dialog by clicking Settings at any time. The curve in the visual equalizer shows you the gain in decibels at every frequency across the audio range. You can click anywhere on the curve and drag it to where you want on the graph. All bends in the curve are shown by a black square dot. You can remove these by right-clicking on them. The graphic equalizer uses discrete sliders to set the gain of attenuation of a signal at a particular frequency. You can select how many sliders you would like to manipulate by entering a value between 3 and 20 in the number of bands box at the top of the dialog. When you change the number of sliders you would like to utilize, the frequencies are automatically allocated to best span the audible frequency range from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Note that when you change the graphic equalizer, the visual and parametric equalizer views are not changed, as the changes in the three views are not compatible. The parametric equalizer is similar to the graphic equalizer, but with more control. Here, you can adjust both the frequency and the bandwidth of each slider by left-clicking on the frequency or Q values below each slider. Frequency must be set between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz. The Q parameter must be set between 0.05 and 20. A higher Q causes the gain or attenuation peak at the frequency to be much sharper and therefore less likely to impact adjacent frequency content, while a lower Q applies the modification more smoothly across the frequency spectrum. You can preview your equalization before applying it to your file by clicking play. Click the reload button to update your waveform with the changes. You are listening to an audio sample. You are listening to an audio sample. While playing the file, you can hold down the bypass button to hear without equalization to get a feel for the equalization you have made. You are listening to an audio sample. If you want to start over, click the Set Flat button to remove any equalization. When you are happy with the equalization, you can apply it to your file by clicking Apply. You can make your own preset by clicking the Save Preset button. Then, enter a name for your preset and click OK. You can now apply your own preset by clicking on the Preset drop-down list and selecting your saved preset. You can delete one of your own presets from the drop-down list by selecting it, then click the Delete Preset button. For more WavePad tutorials, visit the address shown on your screen.